everyone, here I'm showing you the reference photo I took from two sunflowers that I kindly received from my neighbours. They were that so bright and beautiful that I could not resist to paint them. The colours I chose to start with are Windsor Lemon, Burnt Sienna, <coughs> Windsor Orange, Permanent Sap Green and Yellow Oak Grey. Later on I did add Payne's Grey and Windsor Violet. The paper I'm using is Arsh 100% Cotton 300 GSM Cold Press. I've already drawn the flower, so I usually use the ceramic plate which I prefer. Here I'm adding the final drawing touches. wanted to try this brushel set. The copper colour will add texture in the darker sections of the flower. I start by applying water to the centre of the flower, making sure it's evenly distributed. Then I apply the sap green paint, but very diluted to keep it light and transparent. Also the same with the orange paint. Using a small brush, I pick the, the copper brucho from the pot and apply it to the wet paper. I love the effect it makes, spreading beautifully on the paper. Here, I'm applying burnt sienna in between the brusho to give the impression of depth. I use the treble zero brush for the small sections in the centre but this time a thicker paint for the darker sections and always referring to my photo for guidance.
I like using my Faber-Castell pastel pencils, keeping the same colours where it is needed to be lighter. Now I'm painting the petals, very light lemon again, making the paint diluted with water and where the shadows are I use orange the same way. Gradually, I apply a more consistent thicker paint to intensify the contrast. I wanted to try these watercolour pencils and even though it probably was no need um, I wanted to make the centre of the flower pop from the page. And here is my final painting. Thank you very much uh, for watching and um, hope to see you soon. Thank you. Thank you.